She's a push into this spot. Hey legends, welcome back to Bushfish and Cook. Hot afternoon and uh, I'm pushing my way in to a little spot where I like to fish for bass on the top. And uh, usually we go really good and get quite a few down here. And I've got some large ones before too, so. Oh, there's the track down in there. Got to get down to the bottom level. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go down here. Make our way down to the water. There used to be a creek that ran through here, but it's been dry for a long time. Even the floods didn't seem to keep water in it anymore for some reason. Don't know why. There's some sinkholes or something around. Anyway, we'll travel down here, get to the water and see if we can find some fish, eh? We'll see how we go. Last year, the dragonfly was all the rage. And I've seen this this year, the wasp. And I thought, maybe this will be a bit of a rage for the bass. It's only a 40 millimeter surface walker and obviously replicates a wasp. So let's see how that goes. I'm gonna throw that around to begin with. Hopefully we can get onto a few nice bass. Wow, that works so good. We just need to find the fish now. Look at it go. These little walkers don't usually work quite as well. But this one has got a great action. It's a bit shallow here. Doesn't mean there wouldn't be a bus, but I prefer up here a little further. some cast over the other side hopefully on that steeper bank steeper than this side and that's where I pulled in a lot of nice fish before a lot of the time if you're shallow on one side and deep on the other they're always going to sit in that pocket on the other side yep oh. yep yep oh we dropped him but I was on straight away Oh, we got one. <laughs> tiny, tiny, but first one on the on the wasp. I might take the other treble off this. Oh, two trebles is dangerous. We don't need both either. Oh, what? There he is, just there. Just got him back. Oh, he's swimming. He's all good. Zooming off. See you, mate. Let's see if we can get another one. A bit bigger, eh? A little bit small, that one. Nonetheless, it is a fish. It's got such a good action on its own too. It's just like the, just like the dragonfly. It's just like a miniature dragonfly, which is kind of what I wanted. Huh, a bit quiet. Thought with everything going on, it'd be sort of, oh. Storm coming over. Is that true? Weird. It's hard to get around that corner, so sort of just focus on this side, but. Huh. 
interesting. Now they seem to want this. That little guy hit it with a lot of intention. I just think the numbers of bass haven't pushed up here yet. I reckon they're coming. I'm telling you. This is the spot where it's... <gasps> oh! Brown snake. See that swimming? Look at him. Look, with his head up. Might be a whip snake actually. No, it's an eastern brown. There he goes, climbing up into the into the scrub. Whew. Well, I'm glad we seen him. <laughs> I know that the, they're out and about now, so watch out for the the snakies guys. I'll have to go for a swim soon. The camera's heating up, I'm heating up. That snake just come through here somewhere. Yep, there's his slide. All right. So, you be careful. It could be anywhere today. Oh, there we go. A little better than the first one. And the wasp. Well, he's a middle in it. Buddy, hooked on good. There we go. There, yeah, mate. What happened? I heard a buff over here. Session's heated up a little bit now. He might even come back. He might, I don't know. Yep. Ah. They're not big fish, but they're always just fun to catch off the top. Did you middle it as well? Wow, you're making it bloody difficult, aren't you? What's up? Sometimes it's easier to just let him have a bit of a swim, tire himself out. So you can grab him good so you don't get yourself spiked or hooked. Come on. Oh, got him easy. As easy as possible anyway. There we go. Oh. Another nice little one. See you, mate. Thanks for coming. Never gets old catching them off the top. Be a couple more through here, right? Surely. If he was there on the back, I reckon. It's a good chance. In that pocket right there, there'll be maybe a bit better one, I reckon. A lot of snags. No. Okay. Right, I'll just keep moving. There'll be one just through here, so I'm not going to walk through too far.
trying a little bit over here. And uh, that's about it. Is that a lure? Yes. Hectic. You gotta love a free lure. Oh. What is that? Probably just a chafy diver, but it's all right. Someone was fishing for Murray Cod. Bloody big, big line on it. Anyway, it's another lure for me. No hooks on it. The other thing I like about exploring these sort of places, a lot of these lures, they just wash down in the in the floods. And because they're not the most common places that people go, a lot of the time you can just walk through and there's just lures sitting on the ground, just like that. Pretty bus. Quite healthy from up here. Oh, he's barely on. He'll probably go back. Oi, oi, oi. Stop. Go. Hey, mate. Here's a little unexpected, that one. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> We've got a couple of bass though, got the break in the lure. I'm not even sure I'll put this up, but if you see it, you see it. And thanks for watching as always, legends. Catch you next time. <laughs>